All right, I'm going to run right through this because it's impossible to defend E equals MC squared. It does not work in any manner whatsoever. And it is the underpinning of physics. It's wrong in every single way. What E equals MC squared really is energy is an electron which weighs 0.0005 atomic mass units is what they say. And then you take that electron, you spin it so the frequency is multiplied times the electron, and then you take the speed of light into consideration, which is variable. We know that for a fact. It does it changes in water, and it changes in a lot of ways. And uh, uh, Rob uh, Warren and I have accelerated light too. And so anyway, this f equals mass. Then the mass equals the energy. That's all. It's how hard it hits something, and how hard it hits something equals the work. So in a hundred years, we're lost, and that's lost for a long enough time. Albert Einstein says light has no mass, that's insane. It pushes solar sails, it hits things, it's a particle. If it had no mass, it would mean it has no energy by his own equation. If this was a zero, that's a zero. C squared is meaningless because he said, e a Albert Einstein said light has a constant speed of uh, 186,000 miles a second, which is, means it never ever changes, he said. So C squared never changes, which means it's absolutely meaningless. It's like saying times one. It has no effect on uh, the, the outcome of uh, various different equations. So it's totally meaningless. Now, here's the actual deal with light. Here's what happens. Is it's, it's a particle that spins on an escape velocity from the sun. Okay, so here's your sun. It spins away from here. It shakes like crazy in the excited state. And the spin of the electron spins off of the complete nucleated particles. And it spins through space. And it spins some slower, some faster. And that impacts with molecules when it hits here. In between here and here, it is still a particle. It is still has energy. It is still spinning. And it is still in, in the middle of space in this vacuum. It's dark. That's all. It has nothing to collide with. They say, oh, as soon as it hits something, we lose it. Of course you do. Because as soon as it hits it, it bangs the thing that it hits. It vibrates that as, as heat. And it shoots off electrons as, uh, as energy. So that's all, as uh, light. That's all there is to it. All right, I do light experiments, and this is light being accelerated through a Venturi. I come to Science Theory Challenge on Facebook group, and uh, it, it has everything. This is about the comet. Uh, comet 67P is organic, and there's nobody that can dispute that. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you. Thanks. And this is the other uh, group that we have, is Mud Fossil Original Research Group. You see it up there on the left. And uh, there's a new species that's just been discovered. We discovered it here. From, um, and it's, it has no toes. It's built just like that. It's, it's, we're going to call it no-toe. No-toe man.